The local recording feature inside of EV Mux is a game changer. It allows you to be able to go ahead and be live streaming in 1080p and then be able to go ahead and also be locally recording your camera footage and your audio footage separately all the way up to 4K, which is amazing. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you just how you go ahead and set up local recording, where to access the feature, where to go ahead and access your recordings, and what the process actually looks like. So let's go ahead and dive into my EVMUX account so I can show you just how easy and amazing this feature truly is. So once you're inside of your EVMUX account, you wanna be inside of your editor, right? Now you're gonna have the option to be able to go ahead and do this whether you're live streaming or recording. So if you're gonna live stream, you're going to want to make sure you have your broadcast channel selected if you're going to go ahead and be recording then you're just pretty much ready to go so once you hit record or go live you're going to see a new option that's going to say local recording now this is where you're going to want to go ahead and toggle this on to allow it to be able to locally record your camera footage and your audio footage without any overlays without any lower thirds without any graphics pretty much you're going to be able to get the recording the first option here is to get the recording of the whole production right are you changing scenes your countdown timers everything that you've done in the actual production and the local recording is going to be the isolated uh, graphic the isolated camera footage and audio footage of your stream or recorded content so let's go ahead and hit start and so you can go ahead and begin the recording process so you're going to go to initialize you're then going to go ahead and get access to the preview and the program window letting you know that you're ready to go so once that's there i'm going to go ahead and transition this over and you're going to see a little cloud icon come up here next to the broadcast channels letting you know that the local recording has been activated now that it's activated let's go ahead and act and produce some live streams here so i'm going to go ahead and just transition the countdown timer over i'm then going to go ahead and bring up my camera and I'm going to go ahead and transition myself over with my lower thirds, with the countdown timer. Um, so pretty much just handling a regular production. Now, once I'm done with the broadcast, I'm going to hit end broadcast. That's going to go ahead and stop it. And what's going to happen here, you're going to see a little cloud begin to go ahead and download the local recording onto your machine. So it's at 85%, 97 And then once it go, goes ahead and finish, you're going to see this cloud turn into a little green check mark. And then it's going to go ahead and disappear, letting you know that the download is now complete. So you see here that it's going to go ahead and finalize. Now, once that's done, what you're going to want to do is you see it's going to done completed. Now, what you want to do is come back to your dashboard and you're going to go to the session where you were just recording. You're going to come to the right where it says recordings. And here you're going to come to the most recent recording. You're going to select that one. And now you're going to see two different outputs. The first one is the actual recording of the whole broadcast and recording that I just went ahead and did. And this one here is going to be your audio and your camera feed all naturally raw without any elements on added on them, allowing you to be able to, if your camera supports it, to be able to bring up 4K quality to help you with post-production. So what you want to do here, sometimes it just takes a few moments, you just want to refresh to be able to go ahead and trigger uh, that, that file there. Now you're going to see here that now I have the actual recording and I can go ahead and click download on the left hand side. Go ahead and click download on the raw footage as well and you're going to see here this is going to be the raw footage that's going to go ahead and play so once i hit play here you're going to go ahead and see it's just going to be my camera feed and my audio at the highest quality possible and then you'll see here that when i go ahead and open up this download it's going to be the full production that i just went ahead and recorded where i have the background i then have the countdown timer i went ahead and put myself on screen so you can see here that that's going to give you the ability to have some amazing opportunities to create some amazing content in post-production utilizing a web-based platform so if you want to learn more of what you can do with evmux things as far as hotkey feature or auto switching you want to go ahead and check out this playlist right here where i'll walk you deeper into other features inside of evmux to improve your content creation whether that be live streams or recording just click right there to watch the next video. I'll see you guys in the next one.